the intro is played on the D string, the G string. So I'm playing the D string open, the G at the 14th and the 18th frets. Then it's the open A and the D string at the 14th and the 16th. Now that chorus sound you hear, that's the uh, MXR pitch transposer set to plus 0.2, so it's given a um, slight, it's not a detune, it's actually tuned up, but it's just to give them that nice chorus effect. So it's, it's playing the same note as I'm playing, but just a tiny bit sharper, just to get that. And they've also got some delay time to the song. And on the dirty part, I've got a dirty amp, it's got a similar delay. It's obviously a dirty sound. Um, so that's the intro. Um, that high bit you heard, it's quite simply... G string at the 14th and the 18th. Then the B string at the 17th. Now you've got to play on these two strings here. If you start playing it here, the notes are all blurring into one another. It just doesn't sound right. So it needs to be here. And once you play that a couple of times, you're into the, uh, I guess, the pre verse riff that happens before the first verse, before the second verse. Um, now, it sounds like it's played like this. played it like that for years but that's not quite right so it's here open D G string at 11th then it's the open A and it's the D at the 9th and the G at the 9th and then bring the D up to the 11th in the open A and the D at the 9th and then the D at the 7th Second time we come up to here, which is the A string on the 12th and the D string on the 14th. So, and the last time it's open A and the D at the 11th and 12th, open E and the A at the 11th, and then the open A and the D string at the 7th. Play that a couple of times and you repeat again before the second verse. Now, now the verse parts, it's a B minor played here, so it's not a full bar chord, you're just playing this little section here. Then an A chord. Now Stuart plays it like this, his fingers are completely in line. So when he goes up to the D, he's sliding these fingers up slightly and he's bringing the first finger over to the first string, which is the only person I've ever seen play it like that. A minor, eh, sorry, F sharp minor. E major. D major. Then an A, then quickly to an E. So it's I'll play my chords my way around Stuart's way, it's easier. So you're playing that a couple of times for the verse, you're up to that, that high note again, and then for the chords you very quickly got to get from that to an F sharp minor, E major, and then an A9. Now that A9 is the same chord as you'll see in Wonderland. It's so it's got a B note area which gives you a ninth. Then you've got the high note again, uh, and then you're into um, back into verse two. At the end of verse two, after the high notes, there's another Lexa solo section which is. twice it's all on one string so second fret fifth fret seventh fret ninth fret back to the fifth again and the second time that's fairly simple and after that's done and the singing comes back in and then it's uh that's a d chord but it's got this added ninth b minor e major f sharp minor at the end, their way up here. That's all 
single eight stuff, so it's really easy to work out. Um, so add it all together and then you should be able to have the whole sauce. 